know <clears throat> the work is involved is too much because every day we have to prepare all the compliances and the accounts to be finalized because information memorandum has to be got ready large number of uh, people are coming and we have to keep discussing discussion itself one person you made it will take full day so when we prepared the first minutes of the meeting and sent it that uh, another psu back man uh, has written uh, written mail saying that you are just uh, All lies and this thing you have written. He never permitted you this, he this, that, that. Is hopeless like that. He was writing mail against me to all the people. So I thought, what is the problem now? See, you should not get uh, uh, bankers. No, if you fight at all, you ask them itself. They'll take this fighting. Next time they will uh, not even give you any assignment. That's one thing very clear. We are at the mercy of them. and then we wanted to learn is a new law practical experience is uh, is very important uh, because the today the problem is ibbi doesn't have practical experience so he lost lakhs of crores so <clears throat> i first went to meet him to know what is his real problem he can tell me suppose if minutes of the meeting i make uh, there is a perception difference then he can always uh, say this is not correct uh, we can correct that off and uh, so that when i went to his place he is not uh, meeting me for two hours he made me sit outside then he said he is busy he'll call you meet me tomorrow but that general with his fellow is only agm but uh, the gm is my close friend and uh, because uh, we were the auditors also for that so um, then i told him i don't know sir what's his uh, issue You know his problem. We can try to see it is that. Then he just called and asked him, "What is this? You are doing like this?" That man got offended. That's a mistake I've done. He took it as a complaint. Then the other bankers will join. This is one very bankers or they they won't give up because uh, all are involved in everything. You please remember, very difficult to deal with the bankers. and uh, all the general managers are all friends and all everybody has got some problem or the other bankers they are always worried they will protect themselves and they will make you you see even in demonetization one prime minister demonet with a pension is good there is a it is becoming a disaster for the nation that everybody agrees including the prime minister but then his intention was correct and he also knows that uh, because of uh, bankers only does one flop and of course as usual the same i mean that ground work uh, has not been there it's very difficult in indian system that's what i think you would have realized and uh, they all will become together and then there is always arrangements will be there because uh, today these two banks together is major In another place, this man will have to support them. They will come and like that. Each CEO will they'll give one person to dominate. So then I went to the another banker. That DJ is about to retire. He won't even allow to see. And uh, he said, uh, "No, no, you please, uh, guy, whatever is guidance, uh, you please take it." Then what I did, I found this three twenty crores fraud. What happened, this man? um uh, they are all waiting now covid means most of the uh, people will come out of right of all this at uh, a claim actually they are very comfortable this rain came <coughs> he return of 320 crores top audit is done the issuer and insurance does not take uh, no details and they uh, their bankers did not come any through so much of problems nothing happened. and so um, uh, then i thought uh, i was in confusion the 320 crores i have seen it as all rp you come across this right off then balance sheet is there we have to prepare and then uh, that 320 crores uh, if i bring it in 40 to 49 66 and we can recover so then again i made a proposal in words i'm saying that uh, this is what is found i think uh, this will help the bankers interest nations interest they called me and said you don't do all such things without our permission don't appoint anybody 
I said that's okay. I'll put it as a reservation in the next COC. Here after that uh, promoter, <coughs> next what I did is I'm working very fast because time is running out. The seafood fair was being conducted in Goa. <coughs> Based on the valuation that then I came to know that six. Like for example. Uh, based on the facilities and capabilities, how much you can generate revenue by capacity? What is the capacity achieved by them already? Based on that, at the current prices, um, because he doesn't prepare financial statements properly. So, uh, based on that, you will be able to generate a profit of, I think, 30 crores per annum. Uh, 30 crores only are one division. Then the prom H is there. All together is around. Uh, 40 crores, something like that, uh, I don't remember. So if even you give a six, pay, six years payback, 240 crores, uh, 45, 40 into 6, 240, not 300. Everything is established company, Google is there, market is there, and uh, seafoods and prawn uh, hatcheries in throughout India. And prawn hatcheries is a cash and carry business. So a lot of cash is coming, that is not accounting. Bankers know everything. This promoter uh, um, conducted a table tennis conference, uh, 20 crores he had sponsored. And uh, bankers also went there. He produced films out of the money taken. Bankers know. And they were conducting uh, another company professionally, doing extremely well. They know. They know valuation of the asset. <clears throat> Land they have given value. Uh, 100 acres at 10 lakhs crores. Uh, <coughs> they valued it 100 crores. Also, they know. So, but then everybody scared when I said uh, we'll conduct a forensic audit and that will become a Because everybody knows that there's some problems. Don't uh, get into those things. Then um, I already agenda I was empty turn up everything. The next meeting. And uh, the next meeting, uh, <clears throat> they all bankers stopped talking to me. And I used to go to this bank, that bank and come. Then the meeting started. He uh, was, was then uh, another general manager of the lead bank. I never saw him. There is another general manager with you we are discussing. Then uh, he didn't see my face. I realized some problem is there and I told my assistants, I think this fellow is very, looks very angry. I went and said, how is sir? Who are you? Don't you know, you should come and meet me. I said, you are, uh, I don't know from which bank you are coming. One of that also. He said, so and so back. Then he didn't talk to me. He spoke to other things, then we started the meeting. And uh, when I was about to start, um, the one banker did not come. And therefore, he told me, You get out first. We have to talk. Joint lenders meeting is there. And uh, they asked me to go. All my team and all went out. It's very, you know, ungentlemanly and unparliamentary behavior. Whenever the other side behaves like that, we have to be very cautious. We should not allow any mistake to come on our side, our peace. And uh, <clears throat> what you can do, suppose all of them say you have done mistakes like that. Therefore, we have to be very careful. So I went out. Then I called uh, the president, uh, the independent director of the lead bank, who is my student. And he was the president of uh, ICA earlier. Informed him, see, this is, said, uh, uh, now I cannot speak to the CM, sir. Uh, you just handle it too, what is it? When the meeting started, both of them together, these banks, um, lead bank GM and then AGM of uh, the bank. Before I could start something, they said, hey, sit down now. Uh, and uh, first, we have no confidence on you. We want to remove you. And uh, then um, 
I said that's okay, sir. Uh, first, let me allow you allow me. Uh, please allow me to explain what is the work done by me, and uh, then you can place it on record. Suddenly, they saw my people were recording. The GM was terrified, and uh, actually, I was told that GM is a very tough fellow. Whenever the chairman wants to attack anybody, he will use it. And uh, uh, I thought, why a qualified person? I have not done anything wrong. Why are they doing like this? they want to remove? Remove what is it? Then uh, I said, uh, I told them, see, I am the chairman of the meeting. You cannot just uh, take me for granted and abuse. Me. Behave yourself. And I decide that uh, it should be recorded. I will check up the provisions. And they got stuck up. Then uh, I asked him to. They called up uh, their legal team. Then yes, Sir, please, the chairman is powerful person. Then the other person also started attacking. He was reading out mail. Said, you read out, and uh, and then he said, uh, and the other uh, madam was there. She said, he has done good work. He's been sincerely trying his best, uh, and uh, then she is scared of the jail. Then uh, the private bank, uh, um, AGM, or uh, are very decent guys. They said, "You see, we appointed one person, and you removed him and abused him. Then you brought him, saying that he is very, very good, knowledgeable, qualified. We are like we accepted you are is good." We are only ten percent, so we cannot influence the decisions. But when he is doing the work, why are you removing him? Then uh, is the two months over. If you remove him, six months will be over. Then what will happen? Anyway, he kept quiet. He did not uh, because they know that power structure. Then um, later on, lot of problems. But I. Immediately informed IBBA every communication. I put the IBBA chairman and other people, and also the managing director of the lead bank informed. Then after some time, managing director sent me a defamation notice. I was uh, I thought for what purpose is doing? He says, "Why are you sending emails? And uh, why are you are giving suggestions?" Adi then darling, a big lawyer. And then uh, I also kept him in loop. I'm uh, extremely good in defamation law, criminal law. I've done extremely well, so I kept him in the loop. But because they are chairmen and all, they think they are very big. Then the private banker told me, sir, uh, uh, if you keep uh, see whatever they say, we have to listen and go because uh, banking sector helps all the chartered accountants. If they get angry. Then they will remove you. You are very capable, doing good work. So when you are doing good work, <clears throat> you will get uh, okay. This is a bad experience. You think? I said yes, sir. Um, that I'll do it. But uh, let them. Uh, I'll call for next meeting. Then they pass a resolution and remove me. Appoint another person. I said I'll get out of it. What is this? I'm writing to IBBI. They are not responding. I am writing to the chairman. He is filing cases against me. And uh, what did I do? Mistake? If you tell me, I can correct. I did not do it. Then one day they filed case against me before NCLT. And uh, the they appointed very big lawyer. So when the matter came up, first time, I, that fellow was attacking me. This fellow he colluded with uh, this thing that, and then I said I told the judge I only wanted to file a forensic audit. So that is why there is a problem. Mr. Darik was there, honourable adjudicating authority. First meeting, honourable Darik told me, told them, <clears throat> see this man has done very good work. He is very honest, knowledgeable. Get such people is very difficult. Why are you doing all these things like that? He fired them. In fact, he said in the open court that 
I'm not meaning them. That time Punjab National Bank scam came out. I'm not meaning the other thing, but the chairman take money and uh, attack uh, RPs. Poor RPs, lot of troubles they are facing. He said, and um, that uh, lawyer is his duty is to attack. And then uh, I also told him, why you are attacking a co-professional, sir? No, oh, no, no, I will finish off this. And the three times the hearing it went on. Oh, um, of course, uh, the last hearing, uh, after that, uh, judge passed order in favor of them. He told me to continue, but he asked me to. And later on, I filed a review petition against him. And then he told me, see, I saved you. And uh, that fellows wanted to finish you off. The chairman means what? So powerful person. Told him, uh, my lads, uh, I, I come to the court only for relief. Uh, and uh, if I done mistake, you go punish me. If I'm not doing mistake, I should get relief. Where is this question? Your lordship raised me in the open court as I'm very efficient. Then where is the question of uh, allegation standing against me? And uh, this is the thing, IBBI did not take any action. But after some time, I also filed a case against the chairman of the bank and also filed the damages for two courts. And the criminal case is admitted. Now he is running pillar to post. All that lawyer also filed the case against him. And uh, I prepared the base uh, for them. They must know. How you should deal with the trained lawyer. So that part is okay, but uh, what is the summary to understand? And what IBBA could have done and uh, what they have not done. See, <clears throat> what is the commercial wisdom these people can have? Tell me. They are hostile guys. This is not with me. I'll give you another example. They are all people will tell you. The banker, if he dislikes you, he would like to attack you. No reason. They are, I don't know what's the reason. This recovery people, all other bankers I've seen advanced. Even executive directors of many banks are very good friends of mine. Wonderful. I may be. I thought it's I'm the only person I'm getting problem. Everybody is getting like this. You can take. And uh, IBBI should have called them. This is their prime duty. And uh, what is the real problem? You are saying RP has to work. Can you work in this environment? And uh, where is the protection? I, Because I am a lawyer, I was able to fight that case. Otherwise, how much it will cost me to fight? I went to NCLAT. They won't listen. There is no time for NCLAT. Um, Honorable Mukhopadhyaya was, he was kind to me, but he was uh, 100K, 200 cases are there. He cannot even hear 5 cases, 10 cases in emerging law. Suddenly he will get angry also. I have seen, everybody told me, don't uh, tell him too much, he will get angry and find you. I told him, if he is going to find me, how I can argue my, across my points, coming all the way from Chennai. So that is uh, the issue. So if you see this uh, uh, in the next audio, we have put it, uh, how to solve it. So no part of it. What are the goals? Where is the provisions? First step is there is no provision. And at that time suggestions are taken everything in detail. But this is facts of the case. And this is how an RP is treated. And uh, now the, what happened? The same thing happened to our company also. And that also has gone to dogs. The law is very clear to keep it as a going concern. But then there is no provision. There is no power to RP who is treated like a pun. And uh, IBBA, the problem for IBBA could be that all the people are bureaucrats. They never would have done all this. If it's, um, all those people are more poetic, you know, when they write like, reports. They are media management, managing the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. And that... Um, India is Srinivas, who is handling so many things. These people will get interviews on that. Whatever these people are saying, Parliament is uh, passing the law. Must be like that. Let us hope our Honorable Prime Minister will take this matter very seriously. 
Next to another case also I have taken. And in another case, how we solved it? When promoter, the bankers, uh, good bankers and uh, RP, insolvency professional team work is there, you will get 100% results. I can show you, in liquidation, I have achieved it. That is the next case study. There are too many cases that I don't want to trouble you, but uh, all are saying, there is no need to see my case, you take any other case or anything.